That's the latest weapon in the fight against anti-social behaviour. Talking cameras have been installed in hotspots for fly tipping and criminal damage in Folkestone. The so-called flash cams warn potential offenders to leave the area and that their pictures are being taken. Simon Jones has the details. Described as a scourge of modern day society, fly tipping and anti-social behaviour. But now in Folkestone they've got a new weapon and it talks. Stop. If you are fly tipping or committing any other illegal act, your photo has just been taken and will be used to prosecute you. Leave the area now. And the fly tippers residents say have gone. You'd have to dodge to try and walk down the alleyway. It was horrible. And since the camera's been here, what difference has that made? It's brilliant. It's clear. It's clean. And it's just lovely to be able to come out from your car parked on the roadside and be able to walk up without, you know, watching where you're actually stepping. Brilliant. People here say fly tipping's been so bad that this alley has needed cleaning practically every day for the past two years, sometimes at a cost of £500 each time. So now this new poster warning against fly tipping and up there, the new weapon. The cameras cost £6,000. It's only been here a few days, but the council says it's already transformed things. Please retrieve your cam from the bench and place it in the bin. CCTV camera operators in other parts of the country have taken part in trials allowing them to issue on-the-spot instructions. This woman bins her litter and this man comes down from the public art. The difference with the cameras in Folkestone is that they are automatically triggered by movement, six times cheaper than traditional CCTV and at this charity shop they say it's made an instant difference. We've had a lot of people coming round the back, going through the bins, as you can see, looking, at, lo looking to find anything that they could sell. Since we've had the camera, it's just been marvellous. But not everyone sees the picture that way. This is definitely a step too far in our surveillance society. In Britain, we're far more dependent on cameras than anyone else in the world. Well, we don't like the surveillance society, so we said, OK, if we're going to have a camera, we'll have one that talks. And you could be hearing one in your street soon. Simon Jones, BBC South East Today, Folkestone.